What a do, skibbity boo, it's your boy Shawnee B Gaming, and today we're going to be going over the 8.3 update, Talents of Tyranny, coming out on March 23rd. We have two item reworks, a Sobek remodel, two new events, and a brand new battle pass, so there's a lot to go over in today's patch notes. If you are new to the channel, I upload smite videos every single day, and if that is something you're interested in, make sure you check out the channel and subscribe for more content. In today's video, we're going to be going over the item changes, the god changes, and then the new skins coming to the game. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. Starting with the items, we have the tier 2 Sage's Stone, which I have no idea what the old stats are, but the new stats are it's going to cost 1400 gold, provide 50 health, 20 magical protections, 15 physical protections, and 15 magical protections. Stone of Fall, this is going to get a complete rework. It's going to cost 2500 gold, it's going to provide 150 health, 35 magic power, 35 physical and magical protections, and it has a passive that when you are hit by an enemy god with the basic attack, you gain a stack of Fall's Blessing, giving you 2% damage mitigation per stack. At 3 stacks, you gain double the damage mitigation and 20% crowd control reduction. It has a passive that when you are hit by an enemy god with a basic attack, you're going to gain a stack of Fall's Blessing, giving you 2% damage mitigation per stack. At 3 stacks, you're going to gain double the damage mitigation and 20% crowd control reduction. This effect lasts for 10 seconds. This passive sounds really strong, to be completely honest. Then we have the Mail of Renewal rework. It's going to cost 2,400 gold. It's going to provide 300 health, 15 HP 5, provide 25 physical and magical protections. It has a passive that when you are hit by an enemy god, you're going to gain a stack up to once a second, increasing your protections by 4 seconds. Maximum of 5 stacks, and each stack lasts for 5 seconds. At max stacks, upon being hit, you're going to immediately be healed for 15% of your maximum health. Allies within 35 units are healed for 15% of their maximum health over 20 seconds. This effect can only occur once every 60 seconds. There are going to be some attack speed item changes. Players may only have one attack speed slow from items applied to them at one time. The debuff icons can stack on a player for tracking purposes, but only the current strongest debuff will be active at one time. This affects Ikival, Mannequins, Midguardian, Witchblade, and Frostbound. Benevolence is going to see a health increase from 75 to 100. The gold per 5 seconds is going to be increased from 2 to 3. This item now has a minimum bonus gold and bonus XP value of 1. Mannequin Scepter is getting another nerf. It is no longer going to provide 3 flat damage reduction. When you defeat a jungle monster who is burned, you're going to restore 15 health and 15 mana. Eye of the Jungle increased the magical power from 20 to 25. While in the jungle, you're going to gain 15 HP 5 and 10 MP 5. Decrease the HP 5 outside of jungle from 15 to 10. Decrease the attack speed from 15% to 10%. Protector of the jungle. Decrease physical power from 65 to 55. Decrease the magical power from 100 to 80. Decrease the attack speed from 35% to 25%. Sands of time. I think this item is kind of doo-doo. Decrease the cost from 800 to 750. Increase the MP 5 from 5 to 10. It's definitely a move in the right direction, but I still think this item is doo-doo. Sentinel's Gift, increased cost from 500 to 600. Not a huge change, it just means I'm going to be able to pick up less multi-potions with the way I build. Tainted Steel, decrease the cost from 750 to 700. Increase the physical power from 10 to 15. Increase the magical power from 15 to 25. Nice changes for this item. Death's Toll, a lot of people think this item is bad. I think it is pretty good how it was, but they are making changes to it. Decrease the cost from 750 gold to 650. Decrease the health restore scaling from 0.75% of your maximum health to 0.4%. Decrease the mana restore scaling from 1.5% of your maximum mana to 1%. Increase the physical power from 10 to 15. Increase the magical power from 20 to 25. And you can no longer heal off of Tower and Phoenixes. So the sustain is a little bit worse and you get a little bit more power. It'll be interesting to see how this item changes. Death's Embrace, no longer heals off of Tower and Phoenixes. Vampiric Shroud, decrease the cost from 850 to 750. Decrease the health restore from 6 health to 4 health. Decrease the physical protections from 15 physical protections to 10 physical protections. Increase the magic power from 15 to 25. I still think this item is not going to be picked up as much as Conduit Gem. Conduit Gem is just so strong. War Flag, increase the buff duration from 8 seconds to 10 seconds. War Banner, increase the buff duration from 8 seconds to 10 seconds. 
Up next, we're going to be going over the God changes. The first God to receive a change is Cupid, Heart Bomb. This ability will now have an added audio and visual element to the AoE to signify if the Heart Bomb will stun the hit target. This information is shown to all players. Hachiman, Mounted Archery. Decrease the post fire of his ultimate from 0.73 seconds to 0.4 seconds. He still needs to complete his post fire animation before he can take further actions. Set, Spawns of Set. This ability will no longer trigger item effects to activate after using an ability, Hydra's Lament and Bumpa's Hammer. Move on, Spear Thrust, increase the slow duration from 2 seconds to 3 seconds. Grapple, decrease the cooldown. It was 16 seconds at all ranks. Now it's going to be on a scale of 16 seconds at level 1, 14 seconds at level 5. Divine Mastery, this ability can now be cancelled early. That is a pretty cool change. So you can dash through, cancel it, and just keep running. Athena, Confound, increase the duration. It was on a scale of 1 second to 2 seconds. Now it's going to be on a scale of 1.2 seconds to 2 seconds. I'm sure this has to deal with her interaction with her 3. Now it is also going to deal damage. It's going to be 50 damage at level 1, 170 damage at level 5, plus 30% scaling. Horus, Updraft, change the cooldown from it was on a scale of 16 seconds at level 1 to 14 seconds at level 5. Now it's going to be on a scale of 15 seconds at level 1 to 13 seconds at level 5. Fracture, his 2, similar change. It has a cooldown of 16 to 14 seconds, and now it's going to be on a scale of 15 to 13 seconds. Ah, Muzin Cab, or AMC. The Hive, increase the max hives from 6 to 5. This is probably a change made just to keep AMC kind of relevant in Conquest. He's not the best hunter in Conquest right now, but now that he can have an extra hive, maybe he'll get picked up a little bit more. Increase the slow from 20% at all ranks to now it's going to be on a scale of 20 at level 1, 30% at level 5. Shablanke, poison darts, increased max dart enemies can be hit by from 3 to 5. This affects hit damage only and is reduced on extra hits. Poison still does not stack. Increase the darts fired total from 10 to 15. This creates much smaller gaps between darts at max range and higher likelihood of more hits at close and mid range. Thor, Berserker's Barrage, his 3. Increase the physical power scaling on final hit from 50% to 60%. Soul, her passive, unstable manifestation. Heat now takes longer before it starts to decay. It was 4 seconds, now it's going to be 6 seconds. Owl Pwash, Hollowed Ground, increase healing from 5% of maximum health to 7%. Corpse Explosion, increase initial damage scaling from 10% to 20%. And finally, we have Loki. His Flurry Strikes, increase Flurry Hit scaling from 18% to 25%. So it's really going to be 160% to 195%. Up next, we're going to be going over the new skins coming out in this patch. And there's a new Battle Pass, so that means a whole lot of skins to go over. The first skin that we have is the Heroic Husky Fenrir, which is going to be exclusive to the Battle Pass. So this skin doesn't actually make sense to me. All the other themes in the Battle Pass are cat skins, and this one is a dog skin. We have the Chibi Inu Amaterasu, which is a pretty cool cat skin. The Shino Nuke Bacchus, which I feel like there's a skin very similar to that with Bacchus. And the last skin that we have of the Battle Pass is the Nico Mancer Zonkui. Then we're going to get a Plessy Sir Nunos, which is going to be exclusive to the Plessy Max chest, which is a new chest coming to the game. Then we have the classic Al Kuang Kukulkin skin, which is going to be the Birthday Bash event. We have the Dino Mighty Cerberus, which I think looks like a fantastic skin. I don't know, cute dinosaurs, makes sense. Talons of Tyranny is going to be the chest that you can get it in. Then we have the Bit Slayer Sukiyomi, which is going to be standard in the Talons of Tyranny event. Then we have the Unholy Doodle Raw, which is going to be exclusive to the Talents of Tyranny event. I've seen this skin on Reddit quite a few times, and I'm glad that they're adding it to the game. I think it's cool that they take skins from people that design it on Reddit. Then we have the Battle Tagger Scotty, which is going to be exclusive to the Talents of Tyranny. The Death Chibi Thanos, which is also going to be Talents. Then we have a Tier 5 skin, the Forgotten Gods Chalk, which is going to be exclusive to the Talents of Tyranny event. Then Sobek is getting a remodel. He's not going to look super outdated anymore. So the first skin is just his base skin. The second skin is his recolor. And then the third skin is his mastery skins. And I'm sure that all the skins that are of Sobek are also getting updated as well. Well, that's going to be the end of this patch note video. There are some bug fixes that I don't really think are worth going over, but I will include a link to the patch notes in the description down below if you are interested. If this is your first Shawnee B video, make sure you check out the channel and subscribe for more Smite content. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you have a great day. I'll catch you next time.
Bye-bye.